Hello everyone, Karen Spell Hater here, back with another EDH guide. Before we get into today's video, please use my link in the description to help LX's Lemonade Stand Foundation for, for Childhood Cancer in their fight against, well, childhood cancer. By donating, of course, you can also find out other ways to give and getting involved, and which is why I also encourage you to share this video along with other videos on my channel with other people so that not only can they receive guidance from yours truly when building these decks, but so they can also use my link that I'll have in the description of those videos and in this one to donate uh, for towards this good cause. With that said, please, Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to 77 of you who are currently subscribed. And you can be one of those people, one of those uh, people who go above and beyond. Not, well, not above and beyond, but you can you can subscribe is what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> let's not overcomplicate things here. Uh, so subscribe, you know, really want, uh, really want this to be like, a full-time thing for me, you know, incorporate magic into uh, part of my daily life uh, a bit more significantly. So like make it a job for me, make this channel a job for me, you know, because then I'll really enjoy it. Um, uh, But if not, that'll be fine. Uh, oh. Comment on this video, make an EDH request, standard deck tech request, or a arena content request, so like the highlighted game, the highlights of games. Also, for requests, make sure you, that the content you are requesting has not already been requested by someone else or has already been featured on this channel, such as the Red Terror Goblins. That is content that is already featured on this channel. However, the Red Terror Instance and Sorcerers is not. Uh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on one of my videos. With that said, let's get into this grand guide. And boy, have I found something. So you may notice these numbers here. Um, I was just doing a bit of math earlier when I was constructing this deck. So, Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Flying. Whenever a player casts a spell that targets only a single creature other than Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief, you may copy that spell. The copy targets Ivy. So this one. Uh, a copy of an or spell becomes a token. And then, oh, Orvor, the all form. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of one of, of one of those permanents. When a spell or ability and one controls causes you to discard this card, create a token that's a copy of target permanent. This Top line of text here is what really matters. Then we have Vesuvian du Duplomancy. Whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, create a token that's a copy of that artifact or creature, except it's not legendary. And then we have all of these token doublers, so Parallel Lives, Primal Vigor, Doubling Season, Sagashima of a thousand faces copying Atrix and Nev twin casters. Then we have Mirror Box to ignore the legendary rule. Uh, Sagashima of a thousand faces does the same, same thing. And then here we also have for this setup to explain the, those numbers Cast Through Time, Lear, Disciple of the Drowned, uh, Cast Through Time for Rebound, Lear, Disciple of the Drowned for Flashback. Miljurk summonings to get all of our instant and sorcery cards back from our graveyard into our hand. Uh, Jinnika text is not important. Twinning staff, however, twinning staff, however, Mirari and Swarm Intelligence are. They're all to copy. So Swarm Intelligence copies the. Uh, whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, we may copy that spell. Uh, and then we may choose new targets with the copy. Mirari, whenever you cast an instant or sorcerer spell, you may pay three generic. If you do, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And then Twinning Staff says, if you would copy a spell one or more times, instead, copy it, it that many 
times plus an additional time, you may choose new turns for the additional copy. That's pretty much it. So you need these, these, all of this on your battlefield, right? And then you need to cast an instant or sorcery spell that creates a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Um, so in this case, we're just going to choose Ivy. So what's going to happen is because we have a token multiplier of 32, thanks to all of our token doubler card stacking, they end up multiplying the amount of tokens we create by 32. So, and because of all of our copying, we're going to end up uh, copying a spell four times, and then there's the original. So that's why I have the five. And this is for the math I was doing. Uh, so what we do is we cast something like, you know, Stolen Identity and copy Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. We don't, we don't have to obey the legendary rules, so that's good. So don't even mind that. Um, so create a token. However, because of o Orvar, the all form, and Vesuvian diplomacy, instead of just creating like one and because of our token multipliers, first of all, as soon as we target this with uh, stolen identity, Vesuvian Diplomat Diplomancy sees that and copies Ivy. Well, it creates a token that's a copy of Ivy. However, that would normally be one, but in this case, it's 32. Orvar does the same thing. So now we're already up to like 65 tokens that are copies of Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. Then from there, you would have all the other. Uh, the spell itself resolve and its copies. So you then create 160 more I, uh, copies of Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. So you'd already have 161. Then the next spell you cast, so say it's like, um, and also because of uh, cast through time, so, uh, stolen identity would gain rebound. So then it goes to our, then it goes to our next turn. Stolen identity is cast again. So and this time we have a hundred and sixty one Ivy Gleeful Spell Thieves now. So we target the original with that. And of course, of course, Sworn Intelligence Morari sees it, so we're going to copy it. And then Twinning Staff sees it and copies it two additional times. So we're back up to five, the original, and then the four copies of Stolen Identity. Then the original targeting Ivy causes Orvar, the All Form, and Vesuvian Dupl Duplomancy to trigger. And so that gives us 65 more, I mean, 64 more. Uh, Ivy Gleeful Spell Thieves on top of the 161 we already have, giving us 225. Then the, well, then the 160, well, because this is, this one was targeted, the original was targeted, so it doesn't, and it doesn't count itself. So the other 160 see Ivy Gleeful Spell, the original uh, being targeted by a spell with a single target. Uh, in this case, Stolen Identity. So then they all 160 of those that are on the battlefield before the other 64 that were created this turn uh, in this instance, see that and copy that Stolen Identity for themselves and target themselves with it, creating so 160 uh, times 32, which is really big. And you see what I'm you see what I'm saying? And then you've got the other uh, then you've got when 
uh, solenoid identity resolves, and it's all four of its copies, creating you an, another 100, an additional 160 copies of IV in addition to what, uh, what, uh, in addition to what others you are, you now have. So, and there's a bunch of copies. So, and say we didn't even have rebound. Six spells in, we are doing all this, all this math. By the time we cast the six copy spell, the amount of tokens we will have, as you can see, will be a scientific note notation. Same thing happens here, except a lot crazier, because now we're with the copy spells, we're instead targeting Orvar, the all form, creating a scientific a a sign an amount of tokens that are copies of him that that it becomes a scientific notation. Same thing with Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief, except it's not as big of a scientific notation. But you're seeing what I'm saying, right? This can get crazy. Forget your gross. This is absurd. Might as well be infinite. Because a scientific notation, as I saw on a Google search, apparently is, is like pi. It's a number that goes on forever. I believe without the way we can get to the actual view. Uh, but so now let's get to our video. Spellbinder. Uh, the equipped creature deals combat damage to a player. You cast, you may copy the imprinted incident card and play the copy without paying its mana cost. This will count as casting it. So, yes, we can target Ivy and it will trigger like all the other things, as I said. Um, then we have Elite Arcanist. Do the same thing, kind of. Strionic Resonator, copy target triggered ability you control. You may choose your targets for the copy. You can copy uh, triggered ability from the Citizen Diplomancy or Orvar, the all form. There's also the Lithio form mentioned to copy our instants and sorceries, current spells, and activated or triggered abilities you control. Cast your time for rebound, clear to make sure our stuff can be countered and to make sure. That uh, uh, we are able to cast for flashback, melodic sewings to get stuff back to our hand. Jenga taxes, progress tyrant. This is something we really want to create tokens our copies of, because then we can get a whole bunch of copies of instance or sorcery spells. We can go haywire. Twinning staff, I explained. Marari, swarm intelligence, arch, archmage, emeritus. Uh, draws those cards as we copy instance and sorcerer's spells and also cast them. Deca Fractal Theorist creates us creature tokens as we cast and copy instance and sorcery spells. And that's for each time we copy one or cast one. Dragon Gu Dragon's Guard Elite puts pulse and pulse counters on itself whenever we cast or copy an instance or sorcery spell. Quandrix Pledge Mage does the same thing. Master of Waves, we really want to copy this because of the amount of blue devotion we would have when we copy it. So then it makes us a whole bunch of tokens and they get really buffed up because of all the tokens that would be copies of Master of Waves. Excuse me, sorry. Octavia, Living Thesis. Uh, this can be really cheap if we have a bunch of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. And whenever we cast our copy and insert a sorcery spell, third creature has base power and toughness 8 8 until in turn. So we can start turning our token copies of Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief into 8 8 flyers. Jadzi Oracle of Ar Arcav Arcavios. And discard a card to return it to our hand. Um, and whenever we cast or copy an insert or sorcery spell, basically it allows us to reveal the top card of the library. If it's an online card, we can cast it by paying one generic rather than paying its mana cost. And if it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Journey to the Oracle gets us a bunch of lands out. 
Unnatural growth, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until the turn at the beginning of each combat. Control is the right. Creatures you control have to tap, add one mana, bane one color to your mana pool. So now if if we have the amount of tokens seen here, this as a scientific notation, we would now have an amount of mana that would also amount to a scientific notation. This exact scientific notation, to be clear. But still, great card, amazing card. Caravanger's Acolyte, we want this because it's going to add us, give us a bunch of mana because we're going to be creating tokens that are copies of our creatures and therefore uh, giving us a lot more green devotion. Circle of Dreams Druid, we get out a lot more creatures. That's going to be a lot more mana for us. Critter Hoof Behemoth as a win condition for how many uh, copies of our commander we're going to have. I mean, it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> We would be devastated by a board wipe, which is why we have Eldrazi Monument for plus one, plus one flying and indestructible. We'll have to sacrifice stuff to it, but that shouldn't be a problem. Murmuring Mystic uh, could also go wild. We could probably create uh, an amount of tokens that are copies of this that would be equal to the scientific notation, notation as featured with Ivy in that slide. As I explained earlier, uh, or even bigger, since Ivy is not being targeted. Uh, same thing with Talran Sky Summoner, except he'll now be creating two two blue drake creature tokens with flying, whereas this one is creating one one bird illusions. Next one, main chant. We want a lot of mana, so we're gonna triple up on all of mana and creating tokens of. That copies of this is just really appealing to me. And we have a bunch of duplication stuff. Irene, Irene Icus's Vile Duplication, Stolen Identity, Quasa Duplicate, Fitted Infatuation, Crackling, Cackling Counterpart, Right of Replic Replication. Spitting Image is a good one because it can cast multiple times without using flashback. Sahili's Artistry, Tent with Reflections, Replication Technique, Croaking Counterpart. We're not going to be using Reb, 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 We're going to be using Replicate, Replicate. Although this isn't a counter spell, so technically you can use it without being a hypocrite. But I'll encourage doing the fun of others. I encourage having only a bunch of fun. Second harvest. Breach token you control. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of that permanent. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain much else. Parallel evolution does the same thing. Then we have Mystic Sanctuary to get uh to get in an instant back or sorcerer card back from our graveyard on top of our library, mouse warp bridge. As of hideaway, just read the card and you'll understand because we're going to have a lot of creatures out. Nick, those trying to Nix. Uh, we're going to have a lot of devotion. We're going to be creating a lot of tokens that are copies of creatures. So it's going to increase our devotion to that color or colors by a significant amount. So why not add this? Then, guys, Cradle, because we're going to have so many tokens. Then we have 23 basic islands. In 23 basic force. With that said, the end of this crazy commander guide starring Ivy Lethal Spell Thief. I know that instance that I'm creating is very rare, but it's possible, which is what is terrifying, but also awesome at the same time. Uh, with that said, please use my link in the description to help fight against childhood cancer, help ALSF find a possible cure for it. Uh, Share this video along with other videos from my channel with other people so that they can not only receive guidance from yours truly when building their EDH decks, but so they can also use my link to help Alex's Learning Aid Sand Foundation for Childhood Cancer fight against childhood cancer one cup at a time by donating or finding ways to give or getting involved, of course. Um, 
Other than that, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss another third one of my videos. Comment on my video. Leave positive feedback. I encourage it. I also encourage that you make an EDA request. Like I said, make sure the content you are requesting has already been requested by someone else or has already been featured on this channel. So the Red Terror Goblins, that is content that is already featured on this channel. However, the Red Terror Instants and Sorceries or the Red Terror Dragons, that is not content that is already featured on this channel. Uh, you can also make quests for like standard deck techs. I've been playing a deck as of right now. It's been pretty fun. It involves lecturing into the dungeon. Um, I don't think. Oh, you can also make quests for like arena content. So like the highlights of games or like new highest damage potential, which this Sunday I actually hit 360 without my elementals deck, which is impressive. Because that thing rents out fast, and so does this deck. Uh, so that may pique your interest. If it does, just let me know. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you to 77 of you who are currently subscribed, and all of my future subscribers. So please be one of those people. Be my future subscribers. Build up this empire of Magic: The Gathering and EDH. Uh. Make this my full time job. I, I mean, my mom. I was told not to really be, uh, become, get my hopes too high that this would be my job. But I'm really hoping that magic will have a very significant uh, part in my life. It already does. Um, really does. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I definitely recommend you try it out if you haven't already. But enough of that. Uh. Even if I, this isn't my full-time job, that's okay. I enjoy posting these videos, doing this research, finding out the math, you know, finding all the infinite combos. But uh, besides from that, point is, subscribe, like, leave a comment on this video, positive feedback. Also, about your requests. First come, first serve. So get to the comment section before anyone else does. Uh... Hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss another one of my videos. Share this video along with other videos from my channel with other people so you can receive guidance from yours truly and use my link in the description to help fight against childhood cancer one cup at a time. Uh, and uh, yes, also use my link in the description to help fight against childhood cancer and possibly cure it, help ALSF in their fight. With that said, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.